Hey guys, Ticket Tuts here. Today we'll be bringing you a sequel to how to install Audio Mod Mod Loader in GUI API with how to install single player commands, Dr. Zark's Mo Creatures mod, Coda's Clay Soldier mod, and Marglyph's Too Many Items mod. So, I already got these all downloaded to my desktop just in a zip file. Exit out of that one real fast. And just like the previous video, you can type in percent app data percent and hit enter or go to your computer go to your C drive go to users this is just the account that we use app data roaming dot minecraft and after you're in the dot minecraft folder go to your bin and also as in the previous video there will be an annotation on screen um, you're going to want to right click, make sure you have an archiving, 7-zip, WinZip, WinRAR, something like that. Open with whatever your archiving is, and it'll open up in that. Close. And so here is your Minecraft.jar file. It should still have all of the um, items from when you installed the mod loader. So we'll start with too many items. We'll just go down the list. This one is just as easy as the last ones were all you got to do is drag and drop and okay and we are too many items is now installed i'll exit out of this real fast clay soldiers i think this is also just just a simple close select these including the clay man's folder drag it over add and replace files and we're done dr zark's mo creatures and single player commands are a little bit there's more involved in um, installing them. So I closed out of that by accident, but I'm going to have to open it up back up. And so there we go. Phone dot Minecraft. And as you can see, there is a mod, or there isn't a mods folder, but there is a resources folder. And so you're just going to take, you can delete this. So it's easier to select them and take them, drag them in there. And yes, it'll um, combine both of the resources folders into one. So that's, that's, that is how to install Mo, Dr. Zark's Mo Creatures. And now we will go on to single player command. So I'll just delete this because it's also easier to select them. You're going to take, drag up all the way up until r select all of the class files, but don't select world edit dot jar. So I have all those selected. Drag all the dot class files into your Minecraft dot jar and then take your world edit and I closed out of it again. I don't know why I keep doing that. Take your world edit dot jar, go into dot Minecraft, go into the bin. And that's where you're going to take this, this top file right here, just drag it into here. And now that that's clear, good, good, good. We should be all good. So I'll open this up and you should be good to go. Um, if you haven't watched my previous video, make sure you do, you delete the meta-inf folder or else it will not work. And also, um, you may want to back up your dot minecraft folder in case something does go wrong um, although if you are more technical and know what you're doing um, the only things you really need to back up are your texture packs and your saves so here it is it's loading an hd texture pack actually i just noticed that and we will wait for it to actually load and I'll fast forward through this part, but I'll actually go into a single player game. Loading up. And as you can see, single player commands are on. I can do fly mod. Sorry, it's all laggy. As you can see, I'm flying. <laughs> um, 
Also, if I, oops, if I open my inventory, there are all of these. And as you can see, there's also the clay soldiers for the clay, so code is clay soldier mod. And that is how you install these mods. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you guys next time with my clay soldiers mod showcase.